Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Instill Bio is blowing up. Question for this video is, is this company a buy? Hey guys, I wanna tell y'all just a little bit about why Instill Bio has been blowing up and then we're gonna talk about whether or not this stock is a buy. And you'll see guys through the course of this video, everything that's led up to the crazy surge that's happened. And then my opinion at the end on whether or not this is a millionaire maker or if it's something to stay away from. Can't wait to discuss it. Let's talk about it. So first of all, Instill Bio guys, it's a small cap biopharmaceutical company and between September 6th and September 12th, if you've been following this stock, you know that the stock surged by 235% guys in one week, raising its year to date gain to a whopping 510%. And investors are interested in the big question, is this upward trend something that can be sustained? Will it continue? Here's the reasons, guys, behind Instill Bio stock surge because it's absolutely insane. And no, it's not a hype stock. I mean, there's it's hyped up right now, but it's it's not a meme stock. But that's not the reason it's blowing up. Let me explain. They've had a transition in their strategy at the beginning of 2024. Instill Bio was focused on developing cancer therapies using their tumor infiltrating lymphocytes or TILs. In August 2024, Instill Bio shifted gears by in licensing IOM 2510, which is a bi specific antibody that targets PDL1 and VEGF. They made a partnership with Immune Onco. IOM 2510 is licensed from Immune Onco Bi Biopharmaceuticals, which is headquartered in China. Immuno Onco's other biospecific antibody, Ivanosumab, which targets PD-1 and VEGF, received approval in China in May for second-line lung cancer treatment. Now guys, Ivanosumab recently outperformed Keytruda, which is the world's top-selling cancer therapy in a head-to-head -head study, the Harmony 2 trial. Now. Ivana Samab's success, guys, has drawn attention to IOM 2510, which has similarities leading analysts to speculate its potential as a leading cancer therapy. Here's the predictions. Despite limited clinical data, analysts are optimistic about IOM 2510's potential. Baird analyst Jack Allen raised his price target for Instill Bio to $180 per share suggesting a potential 235% upside. So a lot of hype, but let's talk about the risks guys, because man, this stock has some risks. Okay, I, I'm seeing three, three main risks that we need to be aware of. Number one, there's limited clinical data. Instill Bio's IMM 2510 has not completed any clinical trials yet. Its partner, Immune Onco, has only conducted a single arm ascending dose study. In this phase one study, guys, response rates were low. Only three out of 25 patients experiencing tumor shrinkage and no complete remissions. So that's number one, guys. Number one risk, limited clinical data. Number two is there's uncertainty in efficacy. IOM 2510 binds to VEGF-A and VEGF-B, while Ivanasumab binds only to VEGF-A. Now, while these differences could actually enhance function, they create uncertainty due to the lack of comprehensive data. So it's unclear, guys, whether a biospecific antibody targeting PD-1 and VEGF would perform better than the established combination of Keytruda, which is a PD-1 drug, and Avastin, which is an anti-VEGF drug. All right, so, and then the third challenge, the third risk, guys, is finances. It's money. Instill Bio is facing significant financial loss uh, despite leasing its cell therapy manufacturing site to AstraZeneca for 7.5 million annually. The company 
had $152.6 million in cash as of June 2024, but it burned through $39.2 million in the first half of the year. Research and development costs were relatively low, only $10.2 million, but advancing IMM 2510 will significantly increase expenses. So, InSteel BioGuys is likely going to need to raise additional capital long before IMM 2510 reaches the commercial stage. Okay, big moment for the video, guys, and that is, as an investor, what do we do with all this information? InSteel BioGuys represents a high-risk, high-reward opportunity that's typical of the biotech sector. Now, positive data from the IMM 2510 could push the stock higher. But the drug is still in early phase one trials with many potential hurdles ahead. So if you're an investor with a high tolerance for risk, you might find potential in this stock. But for those that are reliant on income for a living, maybe avoid this one because it is definitely speculative, guys. In fact, I am... I'm out on this one. Little bit too risky for me and my portfolio. I'm out. But if you do want to know what stocks I do buy, guys, I post a video here every week. You definitely want to subscribe. Every, every week I'm posting at least one video telling you what stock I am buying and then a bunch of other videos on content like this because I want to give you all the information, guys, that I can. Everything that I'm seeing in the market, all the research, guys, right here on this channel. So subscribe, guys and watch these videos. They, I mean, it, it's absolutely exciting to dive in, guys, break things apart, see where these, these stocks are going, where these, I mean, it's so exciting, even in the biotech uh, sector, to see some of these breakthroughs that are happening right in front of our eyes. But anyway, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about this great company, and I'll see you again in another video tomorrow. Peace.